south, well, pretty much straight up south to northeast, heading over Sosnovka all the way up to Stalba. Might make it a little bit tricky to head over to Georgia Pole, but I imagine we're still going to see some teams heading over that way. But for the rest of it, everyone's going to be dead happy. Yeah, let's absolutely get it on here, John. Match one of the day to kick it off with South Asia. Currently, only 63 players in the plane. So does this mean, once again, Team Seoul are without their final player? Potentially. I mean, that's what we did see the first time around that, that they uh, did mount up. They did have four players yesterday, I believe. Nope, not yesterday. Oh, it was the day before, the day wasn't before. it? Yeah. They okay. only had the three. Uh, it looks like they are still missing, I believe it is Frost on their side. So Seoul really in a bad spot right now. It is unfortunate for them to say the least, but they still seem to have the ability to make the most of it. I'm not exactly sure where they sit on the tables at the moment. I have to double check that, but I think that even then they're not doing terribly uh, considering they only have three players, it's not the worst situation in the world. It's not the worst. They still can't make it up there. I do think they are quite towards the bottom, though, John. That's the only problem. It looks like Seoul. They are rocking with Frost there, Mortal. Yeah, 21 points for Seoul over yeah, the four. Over not, the, not great the four at all. That is a pretty pretty low score for them. We'll see what they want to be rocking out with. At the moment, though, they're still going to be going towards Rossock. No, I think they are actually a full squad here. Oh, so it's another team who is missing a player, then. That's... Very interesting. We'll have to see who that is in the end. Tusty Process, a very, very aggressive team, actually deciding to go straight down to Sosnovka on the eastern side of the military island. We've got Elementrix on our screen right now. Obviously, they got one of the winner winner chicken dinners out here on a wrangle. Let's see if they can pull that out once again. Mr. Poo Poo Man laying down the suppressive fire. Make sure their top fragger, Mr. Hyozu, can get those kills in. But currently. Yeah. Circle just dropping on this western side, encompassing quite a bit of the map, but most teams on the coastal side of the eastern side of the map there, John. Yeah, the main conflict points that I'm looking at at the moment are Milta, with both Godel and Hydra occupying it. They were poking back and forth a little bit, and up here on your screens you can see Yasnaya, where Salty Squad and Entity just across the way. But Yasnaya is big enough to maintain both of them and be relatively happy with it. Uh, as you said before, on the south, Team IND actually holding around Primorsk, well, a little bit more far up to Ferry Pier. A little bit of a split drop, split drop from uh, Mr. Kyozu, Mr. Poopy Man, or in <laughs> for the rest of their squad You just well. can't do it, can you? I can't, I try, I do try. Yeah. But sometimes you just gotta be really juvenile, don't you? Uh, absolutely. I mean, we are all 12 on this broadcast, so it's absolutely fine. <laughs> no, 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 we're at, least, we're at least the appropriate age rating for the game. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. That's how old we are. Yes. At least. At least. Anyway, over in Novo, as you can see on your screen, you've got a squad just looting on up in the crates. Yeah, trusty process. We'll have a good time down here. Already you can see Sax Leo with the SKS. Yeah. He's, he's doing well for himself. They should be absolutely fine. When we were just looking at Salty Squad on the top side facing off, they're going to have to transition through Rosok to get into the middle of the circle there. So they have to go through a couple of teams in particular that we're looking at uh, Mayhem, also Soul and Orb. Orb probably not posing too much of a threat at the moment, but they still will have to make that transitional period of there. And also they have to leave Yasnaya, uh, which leads them open to fire from the team who is currently there with them. Godlike on your screen, making the quick rotation out of Milta. Yeah. Um, they do have a team to the back of them. It is Hydra, but Hydra currently quite split. Uh, mainly going for a little bit of looting in Milta, a little bit of looting in Milta power. So Godlike looking to make that rotation out there fairly quickly, and they're going to move through farm into the circle. Portal Esports uh, seeing off velocity on the eastern side near Lepovka. Gamers Hub, however, all the way always, up in Kameshki as well. Always in Kameshki. These yeah. rotations now need to start to come into the west across the circle. Did pop. It does zone on to George. Funnily enough, only Orange Rock in South George. Uh, only team to actually go anywhere near George Apollo. I did say it was a little bit of a far drop. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what's going on. I don't know how they've done it, but well, it was, so the plane path is really to really to to blame here for this one um, because it did, of course, go towards the eastern side. And I think mm. Orange Rock mounted up and headed out all the way west. They're like, whereas mm. a lot of these teams you could see that over on the eastern side, like Hydra yeah. at the moment. Orange Rock got some sort of um, compass for the circle, you know, the circle compass, so they know exactly where it's going to drop. So they made the long drop over to Georgia. I mean, it's worked out for them. Either that, or they're just really good at predicting these circles. Um, one or the other. One or the other. <laughs> Maybe just yeah. playing to their lucky stance, you just don't know. Well, I mean, to be fair, the first circle covers a huge portion of the map. It's very unlikely that they're going to be far away from the circle, uh, especially on the first one. Mm. It's really, you know, 
fifth, sixth, seventh circles where you can see a lot of circle luck affecting it dramatically uh, moving forwards. You can see Team IND, they've made that rotation away from Sosnovka Military Island. And actually, it looks like they're moving towards the location where actually um, there's another squad actually a little bit further up north yeah, near... Yeah. Elementrix. Near, yeah, Elementrix near, near Quarry. You've got Orange there. Mr. Hyozu and Mr. Poo Poo Man either side of the bridge from Sosnovka on the western side. So they can't quite group up with the rest of their team yet. And Team IND currently between them. Mayhem on your screen as well. They're just outside of Rozok where Seoul are currently occupying most of that area. Seoul seeming to only drop Rozok at the moment. They yep. did the same in the global finals as well. The circle in this region does seem to like going to the northwest, by the way. Yeah. We saw, I think, two or three of those finishes actually, uh, actually come to pass. Uh, with the circle in this sort of location. It's split not right down the middle, but pretty much down the river by the middle by the river uh, that separates north from South Bank and North Georgia from South Georgia as well on the estuary. It's a very difficult piece of terrain to operate around because you need to kind of predict where you think the circle might go, and that's pretty much impossible yeah. um, to do accurately 100% of the time. It is a risk, so you need to be setting up yourself based on where you think people are going to be, based on where you currently are, and based on you know, your possible rotation routes on that information. You kind of got to play uh, the hokey pokey with the the river on the, the middle side. You, you put one foot over to the river, then you put one foot back, and then you shake mm. it all around, and then hopefully don't get shot in the back. Yeah, that would suck. Hydra currently on the screen right now. They've got a bit of a tough transition here from Milter, really, because there is basically the great wall of players coming down from Yasnaya to prison, all the way down to farm, so... Hydra, no matter where they go right now, they will be flowing through players right now. So you would imagine they probably play soft edge as they try and approach the circle, play it quite safe. Trusty process still not moving though. Over on the eastern side, you can see on your screens though, Velocity Gaming and Portal Esports coming into contact. The Portal seem to be able to just raz it on out. A little bit of damage found, but not quite able to uh, steal the momentum in this circumstance. Oh, we are going to get an immediate rock into the vehicles here. Mounting up. Are they going to chase though? I'm not too sure that they want to because, of course, no. you could just see Portal turn a corner, get a little bit of cover, and immediately rattle them down. Yeah, Portal heading over to Orb. Orb currently on Potato Hill right now. Good coverage of pretty much the entire map, so they, they, they will be able to see exactly where Portal are coming from. Maybe take some pot shots. But again, Portal Esports going straight toward Team INS and Seoul. Orange Rocks still holding strong within Georgia Pole. INS and Seoul, two of the strongest names in last season, but this time around, they're not really having the sort of impact that we came to expect from them. Maybe they need to uh, pack up their ideas and, and get a little bit of a shifty on. This did happen, though, it has to be said, to Seoul last time around, where during the groups and semis, they weren't actually putting in great performances. It has to be said, they didn't qualify near the top of the table. I think they only sort of snuck through a couple of times uh, through those regional stages uh, to be able to get to the finals. But in the end, when they came to the stage finals, they absolutely showed up. So they're a team that can pull it out of the bag if they so choose. Well, uh, not probably not if they choose. They choose to every time otherwise. But if they uh, if they put their best foot forward, if they're in the right mental state. Indeed. And an entity just above Godlight right now off to their north. So they want to be careful of not Hitting into them anytime soon. They're also rocking straight up to Mayhem. You can see on your screen towards that right-hand side. But so, like you're saying, there there is a potential here because they were playing with only three players, which almost forced you to play passive from the very beginning of the game. So no team is really going to have that much of a read on them so far. Could help just playing a little bit of a demolition derby there with each other. Uh, yeah. Another northwestern shift. If you take a look at the circle now on your screens. It zones quite a lot of land to the north of the river, so we might see some northward rotations come through. All of these teams should be starting to think about mounting up and going over to that way. At the moment, it's only Zero Degree who have a position in the circle on the north there. So they're going to be pretty happy with that. They got themselves a loot crate as well. They can move over towards the ground near shooting range uh, and control the hillsides there because there is a lot of nice, uh, nice cover in yeah. that sort of location. As you can see, beautiful observation team allowing us to see where the circle exactly did go there for you guys. Ines though, rising across the bridge. Orange Rock are chasing them, so instead of taking the, uh, the route off to the west there, John, where it would have been safest to cross through Georgia Pole, over up to Zaki and shooting range, instead they're absolutely just rising it straight into the massive clump of teams who are coming from the south. Remember, that's where Elementrix, Team I and D, all were making their rotations from. 
Orange Rock, it has to be said, uh, the reincarnation of the Indian Tigers, who did so, so well in the last Indian region. Of course, now moving into the South Asia region, they're having a similar sort of dominance, and we'll see if they're able to repeat it. That's what we're looking out for today, isn't it, Blank? The fact that Orange Rock, they did very, very well, but they did have a lot of luck. So we'll be watching for their rotations, watching for them uh, to actually be pushed. But at the moment, it's not going to happen because the circle did just zone straight onto Georgia Pole, which is their drop location. Yeah, I mean, they've been having a great time so far. Really nice little spray there onto Velocity Gaming from INS. Mazik going down after that one. A lot of these rotations are now starting to come through, but the bridge becoming a choke point on the southern bank. A lot of teams over towards Everest, just trying to find their way around, trying to look at where they could get to. It's interesting to note that none of these teams are going into Georgia Pole. They've obviously heeded my warnings about entering cities if they don't need to, so I'm really happy with that, that no one's pushing in. Entity have got a position just north of North George, so they're really out of the way. No one's going to want to push that direction. Yeah, Paul Esports taking heavy fire from INS. Joker finishing up the job with the silence weapon, the VSS there. Boren Rock will have heard most of this. You can see Marvi is just taking some pot shots where he can. Let's get a couple of tanks onto PS on the mountain. Like you say, John, massive clump of players here on Everest, though. A lot of people are going to be wanting to move down from there soon, but the tents are out and set up. See so are going to be able to camp it down. The circle is relatively forgiving for now, but the next shift will potentially prove who's got what it takes to the top of this region to move through to the regional finals if it does split them off. We've seen some difficult rotations on, on the first day based on this river as well. Uh, and, and it did really split a lot of teams and make it really hard for them to find those maneuvers and find those openings actually to be able to get around there. At the moment, zero degree, they've headed all the way to the north coast. They've been pretty much uncontested in any position they've tried to take. Uh, gaming hub, they've rotated in all the way from Kameshki. They're now near shooting range on the northern bank. Salty as well, just playing on the northern bank on the edge. Godlike and Hydra vying for control of the hills uh, just on the eastern side. And I can see Sol, India's pride, mortal on this team too. All the boys ready and waiting. PS currently just wandering around. They've got a really nice split here. Yeah, next circle. Angles about to on pop all well. side. Next circle just about to pop. We do just see it go through straight onto Georgia Pole. Orange Rock might have had a good time if they just waited around there. Potentially. I mean, it's crates still in it. We could see a crates finish. It'll be absolutely nutty uh, if it does come to pass. Would be quite interesting. Everest still in the circle, which means that Elementrix, they're going to be okay to just yeah. stay there and hold that high ground, have over overlook on anyone trying to cross the river. The teams to the north of the river will not be happy with this circle, however, because they will probably want to find a little bit more ground down to the south. And in general, it's closing down. We might see some teams actually forced to take a location within Georgia Pole itself. It's not the easiest spot to try and find it in. Of course, a lot of water on the estuary for Georgia Pole means that a decent chunk of the zone is actually unplayable. Yeah. And not only that, what you were saying before, it's not a wise decision to go into a city early. That also makes most of the Georgia Pole unplayable as well because you really don't want to be going there too early and finding yourself stuck leaving a compound and everyone's got eyes on. Currently, Elementrix in a really good position. TMJ just down the side, but Orb, official, making the long rotation just past hospital, but it will be. The boys in Nice Slayer taking some shots out there. The process coming all the way from Sosnovka now. Up towards Everest, looking to take that position. Saxleo taking some shots. Don't know who he's shooting at as of yet, but Sol here on your screen. A little bit of firefight one from PES. Portal Esports over there. Portal Esports obviously not doing so well. They're pretty low on the rankings so far. So they want to at least make it to a high position. But like we're saying, most Indian teams, most South Region, South Asian teams definitely playing a little bit more passive right now. So PES, although they've made it to phase three, still, if they go out now, they'll be going out in 16th place, only awarded the one point. Orb controlling around the base of the hills over to the western side, just outside of hospital. We're up against a little bit of resistance as well. But on the northern, on the northern shores, it's Team INS and... 
Mayhem as well, just vying for control. This is a really nice choke to be able to hold for INS because they have essentially one of the crossings completely covered. And they aren't that much at threat as well. They're right on the edge of the next circle. There's no one behind them. The people who are trying to cross ahead of them, uh, sorry, for, for, INS, for INS can just control this. There's no one who's going to be pushing from behind them. They're just going to be seeing people razzing straight in front of them. And they can try and just get those pot shots off. You can see they've already managed to get themselves three kills. Yeah, they're just really controlling this area. Now we see Hydra actually right on the northern side towards shooting range, taking some shots down onto Mayhem. Mayhem obviously out in the open. We just saw them before. Basically just got rocks as cover. We do see Salty Squad, though, make the rotation through Georgia Paul Bridge all the way up to the North George there. Yeah, they, they went all the way from the eastern side of the circle. They rotated all the way across the top. And now, as you say, they're in that western Georgia Pole Bridge. And they're going to make oh, the crossing back down. south. They have left one of their players up north, but... They will be over rotating down as the next circle pops and it's got his own closer to INS. Right on top of Orange Rock as well, like and so Okay. Looks like they don't have to prove themselves at all. Sol currently, Regaltos on the floor. Viper looking for the shots. Currently, Paul Lee Sports got a nice couple of angles here with the ridge side just helping them. Oh nade. Not quite landing there. Comes back and Wolf takes a little bit of flack. Yeah, slams himself straight to the ground. Nades are just coming over the top. Just two players here. Soul could quite easily push this one and go for a couple of refrangs instead. I'm playing it very safe. I'm not too sure Frost needs to be this far back in this situation. There's no, no one really going to be pushing from behind. He could be a little bit of a wild card into the fight, pushing out wide. But there's not too much ground to be playing with, and they do need to be worried across the shore as well. Neo going up the play zone there, but still this fight rages on, John. Nade comes over the top. It's a good toss. Not quite far enough, though. Wolf still safe for now. This is a smart decision from Viper. Knows he needs to get himself all the way onto this side. Can tell that Paul Eastport's trying to get an angle. Really want to jump over the top. Do lob some shots out. Don't hit anything. Return fire comes from Sol Viper. Just popping himself to the top. Mortal is going to take a long flank in the vehicle. Back into position. They're really taking this fight super slow here, John. On the northern side as well, there's a lot of crunching going on while these two teams duke it out for control of the southern bank as teams start to fall. There's so many teams vying for position in the north here that they are all just getting crunched into each other. A lot of casualties. Hydra getting the better end of the stick on this. They did get a lot of frags in the meantime, but Seoul looked like they want to roll out. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought before. Frost going to stay back, be that man to remain alive. They're going to push over the top of the hill. Big spray oh, comes out. Viper takes a lot of damage. Trusty Process coming over the top of the hill as well. They need to finish this fight and they need to finish quickly. Wolf on the floor. PS now finally down. Soul clean it up. They're going to be careful. They've got to refresh the gear now, John. Everyone's live and kicking for them, though. Viper will be able Frost, to heal up. Though. Wow, what a shot right from the back there onto Trusty Process. It's going to give time for Mult Mortal Regaltos to recuperate there. Not only that, I think Orange Rock have spotted them out as well and they're going for it. Godlike on the northern shore taking down Hydra or taking on Hydra for now. Looks like Hydra are giving as good as they get, though, on the other side of the road. Ooh, Gyro God finds the headshot, as well as the tag on a couple of players, but Zombie, big flank, right behind them. I think they do know they're there. Currently, they just have the smoker's cover. Nice little lob on the ground, pushes it just over the top of the vehicle, giving them a little bit more cover themselves. They want to get this player up now, John, but Zombie... He's holding such a good angle, whilst the rest of Hydra on the other side. Salty have a really tricky spot on the western side of the circle. They're holding on the eastern ha hand of crates, but there's so much open ground there that they're going to have to cross, and they're going to have to do it relatively soon to, for the next circle as well, during all of these fights. Gyro, God, Might be the time. Man. Like you say, though, John, all these teams crunching in. Five, phase four. Circle is getting horribly small now for all these 14 teams. But it's okay, because Orange Rock have control of the center and nobody else is pushing for it. So that's fine, that's fine. Nobody needs to try and stop them. Jaraga tries to make the cross a little bit audacious though. Mayhem coming into the circle. Obviously they were being peppered before, but now finally made their way in, giving Zombie a little bit of hurt. Godlike still in this one, Hydra. Kicking the car into fifth gear, trying to get it over that hill. Takes some shot himself, but it's from Mayhem. They did no idea where they were, and that's Hydra going down. Mayhem, a little bit out in the circle, as you say. I think they've been spotted. Goes for the cover. He's going to be able to land it, but the other side is getting peppered as well. His teammate's down. I don't think he's going to be able to be making a break for it there. Entity. Next circle is in. Fevru still in the grass, though. I don't know if Mayhem have spotted him. But there's teams on either side of them. Godlike. So happy they remain and stay there. God, like, do you clap back onto red? So much fighting going on at the moment. 
Vampire down. Yeah. I believe that is now Mayhem out of it. Godlike done such a good job to stay in this one. Orange Rock have made a rotation early on, and they've got themselves an even more central compound now. Uh, so they are right slap bang in the next circle that did move a little bit further east. Anyone on the north now will need to make their way south or try and hold around this bridge because, of course, a couple of these teams are looking to do just that. See Mad Dog in the water, currently just healing up. Can heal once you are inside that vehicle, but it is INS who are really giving Mafia a little bit of the, the hurt right now. Vehicle explodes, well played. Mafia standing a little bit too close for comfort. The bomb goes off. This river just will not let up on the South Asian region. It's proving to be the arbiter for so many of them. Seoul still going on the eastern coast. Trusty Process not able to uh, zone them away for long. Orange Rock with that compound right on the T-junction, right next to the bridge. They have a dominant spot for now. The question is, will anyone be able to push and try and dethrone them? Salty have managed to make that break from crates and take a compound for themselves on the western side. Being challenged for it by Orb, however, but the Orb team are split, remember. Godlike hesitant to take this fight right now, knowing that all the players are currently down. It's just Croton alive right now. Viru... Taking a lot of time, making his way in the circle, just wanting to go for those placement points right now. Or, bit of a mad dash across open field. He's taking shots from Orange Rock. They are zipping past his head. He's running straight into the arms of potential death as well as Elementrix are right around the corner. Fancy footwork well, hang on a minute. There. Elementrix just got wiped. The vehicle blew up and it got him. Oh dear, Orange Rock pick up two and they go out in 11th. Yeah, she's somehow surviving there, but Orange Rock really putting the hurt on these teams now. Salty Squad looked to be pushing in. Oh, sorry, stopping the pushing coming in from Orb. It was only one player for them, so they will be able to stop it. But three of them went down. Incredible performance from the Orb player, the solo guy. Yeah, extremely well. It's like Rusin currently just giving as much smoke as possible to his team, trying to get through the window. Help up Nima, who was dangerously close to going down. You gotta, you gotta make sure you can get that, that parkour yeah. in there. Circle. Just about to pop now. This is going to really create a lot of problems. And look at that once again. Orange Rock, so, so lucky. They are in it this time around again. They're right on the edge this time, however. They might struggle a little bit with all the teams looking to potentially crash that. Salty, we know how they like to play edge compounds. So that is going to be a target for them, potentially. Will they be able to get it done? Of course, they did take a lot of knocks there, remember. They had three people go down. They're going to have to heal up for a little bit. So, do zero degree crash first. Do INS try and just hold this coastline, and will Soul challenge them for it? Nice little bit of damage coming up from Smokey. Tries to confirm it. Soul currently with four members. Still alive. Croton does go down, and I believe that is now godlike out. Zero degree taking heavy fire from INS on the coastline. INS holding on two fronts at the moment. Uh, there's no way that anyone pushes them from the mainland, so they just have to fight side to side. The zero degree right here. might have it. Yeah, zero degree. Just coming to the top side, realizing the res might be going off. He just peeks out for a second. Smokey might have to cancel the res right now. Where's the nade? That's God what I'm coming over for. the top. Nade, go, nade goes over the side. Explosions coming through. The Pan Singh doing so Huge. much damage to them. All of them on the floor, and that will be them now out. Great push from Zed. That's going to allow Orb, actually, to push up just a little bit, give them a little bit of an opening, of course. They still have two players left alive, I think. It is Nima. Mad Dog still going to be there. Orange Rock Ooh. still holding strong for now, and you can see they're going to be stopping Salty dead in their tracks as they make that roll into, well, towards the zone, what they want to try and find. Salty sent a player all the way over towards Seoul and seeing what they can get done. Yeah, AJ, all That's the it. way out in the zone will go down. Rusin also. Nima will run over Frost in the process, though, so he's got to be a little bit happy with that before he does get taken down by Sol doing well. This is the performance we wanted to see yeah. from them. Back to four players, back to full strength. And it looks like they're back to their old ways as well. Orange Rock, though, they are going to be a stiff competition to be coming up against. IND still in it as well. These are the three... Uh, Orange Rock, well, the roster, Sol and IND. These are teams that we saw be the top three of the Indian region in the spring split here in the fall. On the first game of day th day four there, doing a lot of work as well. Yeah, now coming back to clash with one another. You can hear the shots just zipping by most of these players. I indeed do drop up, find the player in the grass. Trusty Process just hanging on for dear life right now. Kratos does go down. No chance also. Last player from Team I and D, desperately low. 
but it is Saxleo putting in a lot of damage. Carry also. Orange Rock must have had a lot of kills so far. Soul in an awful position right in front of Zed. Oh dear. They're going to be hard pressed to make it into the circle proper. Zero Degree have nine kills already, and they're firing onto Trusty Process. There's a lot of downs over there already. They're not going to be happy with that. They're getting their team members up, but they're getting confirmed left and right. Orange Rock just racking up these kills so many times. The next zone will be away from them, though. They're going to have to make the push this time. They're going to have to prove themselves finally just a little bit, and actually against some very strong competition. All of these teams with three and four players alive. And yeah, finally, they have to lace up the shoes and head on out. No longer just a casual stroll oh, down nice to the shops. Shot. Well done from Zed. Currently zero degrees, not zero degrees at all, turning up the absolute heat. Sandu does get the headshot onto God now, though, so he will go down. Marvi very far forward, does take the next shot. This is such an aggressive play for Marvi. He might be able to actually take down Zed as well. God is off to his left, but he's currently knocked. Nine kills for Orange Rock so far. He's going to back out. Surely they must be taking fire from all sides. No one wants to pressure them. No one's checked down the hill. There's a player out to his left. If he gets spotted out, or if they get spotted out, might be a little bit difficult. But there goes Sandu. They take the fire from both sides. Looks like it's going to be Orange Rock to pick it up as everyone now starting to rattle it down. And it's Soul versus Orange Rock. The top two. A 2 of the old team. Guard. We could see a huge firefight coming out very shortly here, John. Soul. All clumped together, taking so much fire all game. Equipment's got to be ragged at this point. Marvi, though, strong position behind the crate. We'll obviously got what, get whatever loot's in there, so the equipment will be completely refreshed for them. Well, Frost takes smart. a forward position. This was very strong from him, John. I think this was the correct play just before the smoke disappears to move on forward. Surely they know Orange Rock is down there, but a very good play from Orange Rock. Taking the 2-2 two -two split, ready for the refrag, whatever happens. So Viper, shimmy himself off yeah. the left. Will take a nice angle. They can see, must have seen existence. They will know that it's there. Regaltos takes a heavy hit from the nade, but he's going to be okay for now. Got six bandages. You can see those going up as well. Some nice fire on the off angles as Soul spread out. This is beautifully orchestrated from them. The question is, will Orange Rock be able to land the shots? Mortal looking to try and shimmy his way in as well as the circle is starting to shut down. They have no hard cover. If they get spotted out, it's a death sentence. You got to wonder, do they have any nades remaining? Do they have the utility to make this push work? Because currently, Orange Rock very happy to sit there. They will have to move in themselves past the tree as well. Really, all Soul need to do right now is survive and There's wait the for the push. Nade coming out from Marvi. Is it far off? No, it's not. Just shy. That one might be a bit far enough. Oh, Mortal just standing his ground right now. All players in the grass. Here comes the In flank. a line. Carry. Great grenade. Does it hit anyone? It's just a bit far out. He's going to make the push. They know exactly where he is. He knows exactly where they are, though. He goes out nice wide. Nice shot. Gets knocked down. There's a long nade. That might be able to do it. Regaltos is going to go for the spray. One player down on the right-hand flank. I think there might be two as well. They're getting shut down in the process. It's so down to the wire here. Seven kills for Soul. They're looking to put that up to 14, but Orange Rock stand in their way. Absolute Soul resonance going from this team right now. They are working so well in tandem. Existence and Marvi completely locked down. They as well be in a prison right now, John. The vehicle's on fire. I think it's already blown up, however. A lot of damage has gone that way. Soul doing okay. They are holding on. They haven't been spotted out. And the, the, the good thing for them is even though they lose the third person advantage, they can cover every single angle because they know exactly where everybody is. Sandu on the sidelines has to try and do something into this spray. Regaltos Just so down. hard. One that knock. is exactly what they needed. Existence, the top fragger from the team right now, doing so much good work for them. Oh dear, Sandu has to go up and go back to the rest of his team. Doesn't show his position though, because he was on the small hillside, but Frost claps back onto Marvi. Now they're shimming around. Currently, Soul have to move in as well. Backpacks are off to make the snaking play even more strong. The play zone actually knocks Marvi up as he gets raised. Existence. The back is against the street. Here comes the push right now. He does go down just, just standing in Orange the rock. rock. And the headshot will finish him off. Soul back. With a vengeance. They're going to be able to take it down. Picking up 11 kills. I don't know if they got the kill onto Marvi actually. So they might have just fallen short there. Yeah, okay. So they get, they get nine kills in total. But that's what we wanted to see. They've just put 
a firm foot on the ground and said, you know what, with four players, we are a force to be reckoned with. These guys know exactly what they're doing. We saw some great rotations come out from them, and despite the circle luck for Orange Rock, yet again, they were able to dethrone the Kings. Going to get some highlights on your screen. Excellent work from Seoul. It's mentally exhausting to play with three players, so this team must have had a massive confidence boost going to today for all four players in the game. That's exactly how you want it to be. It's the way squads is meant to be played after yeah, all. Absolutely. I mean, you have such a disadvantage, as you said before, Blank, when you're playing with three. It just, it just, it, it just nerfs you so heavily. Yeah. Uh, the, the number of strategies, the types of strategy you can go for. It forces you into a certain place, though. That's the sure. problem with it. But Orange Rock, they again have a very, very good game. Uh, they will be putting 14 points on placement, and they managed to get themselves uh, 12 kills total. Uh, in into that game as well, so they're going to have a very nice score uh, to be getting on with. Mm, Trusty Process going to be happy with third place as well. Obviously, they were all the way down in Sosnovka. Actually, managed, managed to make that rotation all the way up. Remember, every player was on that eastern side. That's the rotation they made. They're in a really good transition through all those players into that final circle with the two big boys. Yeah, nicely done there. I have to say, Seoul's final circle play there was really, really strong. Uh, really into, calm Yeah, as well. it, was, it was really, really calm. Despite them being the ones with no hard cover, what they were able to do was just, they knew exactly where the enemy team were. They knew exactly where every single member of them was. So they could just hard cover the angles. And it's just so hard to go out and pop out and spray, especially with the foliage cover, because it was never the case that Orange Rock knew where Soul were going to be exactly in the grass. So they had to peek, look, and then try and win the firefight, whereas Soul could just hard aim, take it down, and... That's exactly what they did. They took Orange Rock yeah, down. Yeah, I'm going to remember that Orange Rock kind of got gifted a loot crate in that last circle too. They had the loot yeah. crate, the vehicle, the tree, all to play around with. But and not to mention the uh, the ridge line. Yeah, it was just super passive from them. I think they they sent out a flanker, but then recalled him quite quickly. And for and like we were saying before, Soul, calm, collected, patient, just wait them out and have a really good game at the end of the day. So hopefully they can continue that going forward. Yeah. They do have a lot of points to climb back from for that. I think it is uh, around about 27 they, points yeah, they will get I, from that. 29, think, well, 29, 29, 29 points. From this, 29 so they will points. have more than doubled their score already. Yeah, um, I think there were 20 points before, so now they're on a 20, so they're around right. about 49 points now, which is really good. That's going to leapfrog a lot of teams. 50 points is around about to easy yeah. enough to get you into that 9th to 16th area. So we'll see where they are on the scoreboards. And they didn't have the easiest time of it, remember, as well. They did have to rotate uh, from, I think they landed towards Rosok. Yep. Um, so they did actually have to fight through a lot of different teams. A lot of teams uh, rotate through. through them as well. Exactly. So that it wasn't like they had an easy time of it. Orange Rock no. got to the circle uh, in the end relatively easily. I mean, to their credit, they did rotate early and nicely uh, into that next central compound time and time again. So, you know, they did have some good strategies, but it's so much easier when you get circles like that. So once again, Orange Rock are eating their circle magnets for breakfast. Yep, pulling it all the way towards them. Orange Rock there with 26 points. So with a nice 29. All the fish are going to be happy with seven. They haven't had the best of games so far, so making it that far, I think they had some much better rotations this time around. Yeah. INS as well, posting up on fifth. They were able to control the northern side. Unfortunately, the circle did shift away from them, and they didn't quite make that uh, uh, the crossing un, 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 unimpeded. They tried to hold the shoreline, but got shot down from both mm. sides by both Seoul and I can't remember which other team it was. I think it might have been Zero Degree yeah. uh, trying to just shut them down, and they, they eventually did. Yeah, Zero Degree, despite having a really, really tough time in the end, making it way to circle, they were being fired upon by many, many different teams there. Surely they did get that bank, which was a really nice position for them. But to make it all the way to third place on kills and placement points alone, really happy with that one. Here we can see the 9th to 16th. Holy spot still at the bottom. I'm pretty sure this team is now not making it to the semi-finals, unfortunately. Might they be quite difficult. are really hard pressed. They're gonna have to have some stellar games. Xbox still sitting at the top there with a whopping lead after their additional four matches. Mega X 121, but Orange Rock into third place with 120 points there. Yeah. 29 Soul points. not quite on the board, so it looks like I was right saying well, 9 to 16th place. Entity Gaming, though, had a pretty bad game this time. Going through Georgia Pole, 
they hardly even fought any teams and they were pretty much immediately out as soon as they came into contact with Hydra. This was the thing, they didn't actually go down to a direct firefight. Uh, it was the vehicle explosion that took that took them down. Oh no, wait, that was Elementrix. Mm. That was a different team. They I were just making their way. It was yeah, no, was just get, in the yeah, water. Yeah, the game just couldn't quite uh, couldn't quite pull it together on that one. But Orange Rock, 29 points now below uh, Egg Spark, and that's a very achievable goal in the day, certainly for a team like Orange Rock. They know what they're doing. Eight bit, they're still sat in fifth, but. With the team starting to get more games on the board, that might just drop down a little bit. Entity Gaming, though, they're still very much in with a shout here. Um, and I wouldn't be too surprised if we see them post up some decent results moving forward. Yeah, Orange Rock really only have to average about 10 points a game now to make it ahead of x -Bark. There we go. Right so there we on go. 16th. Right on 16. 50 points there. So now if they just have a couple more good games, they can get them. So they're already in the safe position right now mm. as we come into day four. They just have some more good games. They'll be feeling pretty good about themselves. Salty Squad, not the greatest of games for them. They have done fairly okay in the other days that we have seen them in. Yeah. But as you can see, Paul Lee Sports looking very sad down at eighth. They have INS. not managed to leave the bottom 11-16 no. in any of their games. They only have five placement points out of five games played. Here's the kills leaderboard. Scout still topping it out. Sandu, though, is within striking distance. He's got three more games yeah. to play today as well. Scout, number one place. Definitely very much OP. We saw that guy yesterday yeah. just absolutely rattling on through so many yeah. different teams. Time and time again. But now it's time for some of the other teams in these groups to try and make a name for themselves on the kill leader. But like to say, Sandu not doing too bad of a job. Existence, I think, was one of their top fraggers. Sandu now overtaking him a little bit. Um, but Paradox also up there. But Team Xbox really just covering this whole leaderboard at the moment. Yeah, I mean they do have those four, those well now three extra games on the on the card, so you do have to take that into account. Mm. With only a four-game kill difference, taking it as as five five games so far, that's about three kills per game. Yeah, uh, a little bit more uh, for them. So uh, 